The next part then of this chapter, so this is video part two, um, we are now going to look at how every single atom is structured. And in every single atom, I have three particles. The first particle is a proton. The second is a neutron. And the third is an electron. Okay? Anytime I'm talking about a proton, so I'm going to set up a table here. And in this table, I'm going to go through what the charge of the particle is, the mass of the particle, and where the particle is located. So proton has a positive or plus charge. Remember, P for proton, P for positive. Neutron has a neutral charge. So it's neut for neutron and neut for neutral. My electron then has a negative charge. Okay, so please be aware that it's N neutron neutral. So neut and neut. Okay, my proton and my uh, neutron have the same mass. So one, and I'll come back to what AMU means now. This means atomic mass unit. When we talk about uh, atoms, they're extremely small, often invisible to the naked eye. So because they're so small, we need another way in which we're going to actually uh, measure them. And that's called AMUs, or atomic mass units. It's no different to using meters for length or centimeters cubed for volume or degrees Celsius for temperature. So my proton and my neutron have the same mass. However, my electron is different. My electron is actually 1,838 times smaller, okay? So because of that, in order to make the same mass as one neutron, I would need 1,838 electrons. So the electrons are smaller than my protons and my neutrons. My proton and my neutrons are both located in the nucleus of the atom. The nucleus that we have is the scientific word for the centre. Okay, and we will be looking at drawing these in the next few classes. Okay, so this is my centre. My electrons again though are different because they are outside the nucleus. They orbit it, okay? So much like the way our planets orbit the sun, my electrons orbit this nucleus. And they are located in what we call shells, okay? And we will be coming back to how we work out the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in every single atom. But first, you need to learn this table. Proton has a positive charge with a mass of one located in the nucleus. Okay, neutron, neutral. Again, mass of one and again located in the nucleus. My electron then is a negative charge. It's uh, 1,838 times smaller and it is located outside the nucleus. It orbits the nucleus in what we call shells.